this EEG was recorded from a 70 year old man who suffered a severe and prolonged anoxic brain injury. Let's start with the review of this EEG. You're looking at a bipolar montage so if you focus over here this is the left parasagittal electrodes recording from the left parasagittal area and this area is recording from the right parasagittal area and likewise this is the left temporal and right temporal head region. Just to just for your recollection odd numbers record from the left side of the brain and even numbers record from the right side of the brain. So what do you see on the CEG? This EEG does not have the normal organization of the EEG where you see beta frequencies anteriorly and alpha frequencies posteriorly. Instead what you see here, you see these sharp waves, somewhat biphasic or triphasic sharp waves that occur after uh, somewhat of a regular interval. So you see these sharp waves occurring on the left side and likewise you see the sharp waves occurring on the right side. An important thing to note here is, let's put the cursor on the sharp waves on the left side. These are not synchronized with the sharp waves on the right side. So these are independent sharp waves. Now we've noticed that these are somewhat periodic. So if I move this EEG or as we progress on this EEG, as we proceed on this EEG, we see that there is a periodicity there. So these are periodic discharges. And, the le and these are lateralized to the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. So this kind of a pattern is called bipleds. This is different than pleds which stand for periodic lateralized epileptiform discharges and are predominantly just on one hemisphere. Bipleds imply that these are lateralized epileptiform discharges which are asynchronous, which are not, which are independent in the two hemispheres. Another way of looking at this EEG is to compress it. So if you look over at the time base, at the present time we are looking at 30 millimeters per second. Let me change it to 10 millimeters per second and this all gets compressed. With compressing the EEG, the periodicity becomes more obvious. So you see that this, these discharges, these sharp waves are occurring more or less at an interval of one second. Let's go back to the 30 millimeter per second time frame and we'll proceed on. The other noticeable finding on the CG is these periods of suppression that last anywhere from one seconds to one and a half seconds right here. So we'll move on and you keep seeing these suppressed amplitudes. When we say suppressed the amplitudes, if you measure the amplitudes here, these are less than five microvolts. these discharges are occurring periodically but these do not build up into an electrographic seizure. So what would constitute an electrographic seizure? Number one, if there was a change in amplitude, a change in frequency over a period of time. Clinically when the video was recorded there were no changes clinically on this patient and there was no clear evolution that EEG pattern waxed and waned but there was no clear evolution. So you can see these discharges on both hemispheres occurring independently. Let me change the montage here. So I'll go on to an average reference montage. When I go to the average reference montage I'll reduce the amplitude here and let's keep looking at it. There is some degree of contamination between because this is an average montage and negativity from one hemisphere will create a relative positivity when you're using an average reference montage. And if I compress it here, I'll go back and compress it over here so you can again appreciate the periodicity of these discharges. Okay, back to the bipolar montage. What does this mean? So if you see an EEG which shows plates or biplates or generalized periodic epileptiform discharges, what is the significance in determining the prognosis of the patients? So first of all, 
each person has to be taken individually you have to take into context the clinical history of the patient the clinical examination on the first day on the third day you have to take into consideration the other investigations that have been done that far but in isolation if you find a patient with biplets it typically suggests a poor prognosis for functional recovery a lot of these patients will also demonstrate abnormal cortical signal bilaterally one of the papers published in seizure so I'll show you the paper this is this was published by San Juan they found an extremely poor prognosis for recovery or survival in patients who had generalized periodic epileptiform discharges or biplets that is bilateral periodic lateralized epileptiform discharges so let's go back to the to the EG pattern here so just to summarize this EG does not show a normal architecture of the EG normal organization of the EG it shows periodic discharges on both hemispheres which are asynchronous and this pa pattern is called biplets or bilateral periodic lateralized epileptiform discharges when you see biplets on an EEG it generally implies a poor prognosis for functional recovery thank you